Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Nice to have you one more time. Welcome to this English class again here on Zoom. Just give me a minute because I'm getting this material. Come on, give me a break. Okay. No. Give me a minute, please. Okay. Yes, save. Okay. It's nice to have you. How are you, everybody? Is everything good? Okay, this one is. Elvis is here. Hi, Elvis. How are you? Um, not fine. Oh, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty yeah. good. Um, give me a minute. I will. I will have the material ready for you. Just give me some time, because I need to get it. Um, I think it's this one. Okay, this is class 11, right? As far as I remember, this is class 11. Okay, uh, let me show you what's going to be the material for today, uh, which is related to um, section number four. We're working with Back to the Future, uh, like the movie, right? And that is the section we're working on, intermediate number two. Um, this is class number 11, and we will continue working with this thing, which is called um, related to. Um, past events, future events, and pre present, right? Everything that goes with that thing. It's not how it's hard, because here you need to deal with the different contexts and also the, the grammar tenses that we have available in this section, right? which is past, present. So you need to figure it out what is the correct one according to the context. Okay, so um, in this class, we will continue working uh, giving you like more examples that you can that you can work with. Um, I think that the challenge is going to be with past tense, because past tense is somehow difficult to deal with because of the regular and irregular verse that we have, right? But again, how do we how do we learn this as much as possible? So in here. Um, In here, uh, we're gonna have some practice uh, about the content. Okay, if you have a question anytime, um, just just let me know. I think in some parts of this country is raining nowadays. Well, at this nowadays, at this moment, it's raining in some in some parts. So I, I'm sorry for that, and, and just keep connected. Okay, uh, I will take the attendance before we get into the grammar part. Just when you hear your beautiful name, stay present, or I'm here. Uh, give me a minute while I get the attendance list. I have it here in a draw in a drive document, but I need to get it. Okay, just give me some time. Uh, today, as you may know, we have Wednesday, like the TV series on Netflix, right? Wednesday the Teddy. Ali Lee, are you here? Ali Lee? Hello, hello. Oh, let me check. Ali, she's not here. That's rare. Oh, she's usually here. No, that teacher. Oh, that's rare. She's usually here. Not today, right? Ana Cecilia de Perez. Present teacher. Very good. Wonderful. So Ali, she's absent, and your classmate is here. Ana uh, Cecilia yeah. Romero de Dominguez. Ali, you're here. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Aleli, and also uh, Cecilia Romero de Dominguez. Thank you so much. Um, Ana Mendoza. Ana Mendoza, I'm are you here? I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Nice, nice to have you one more time. Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Hello, Carmen. Are you here? No? Okay, let's move with Cesar Ramirez. Hello, Cesar. No? Está mal de... Está enfermo, teacher. Oh, he's sick. Oh, that's Iraña, not good. Teacher. Oh, yeah. He told me from yesterday, right? That's not good. 
uh, there is no cure for that. It's just like um, somehow medication, right? Oh, it's difficult. Edith Araceli Guzman. Edith? Thank you, Edith. Welcome. Eduardo Najarro. Hello. Good, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Elvis. Hello, Elvis. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. Emerson Mejia. Hello, teacher. Wonderful, Emerson. Welcome. Uh, Stephanie Jamilet Aparicio. Stephanie? No? Okay. I'm She's here, teacher. Oh, you here? I'm Thank here. You. So much. Okay. What about Fatima? Hello, Fatima. Good Hi, evening. Teacher. Jaime Aldana. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, Jaime. Jose Eyarvin. Hello, Jose. No? Okay. He's absent. Um, Karen Ceseña. Present. Wonderful, Karen. Thank you so much. Laura Arce. Hello, Laura. Are you here? No? Okay. Um, oh, she's absent. What about Marvin? Hello, Marvin. Marvin? Present. Perfect, Marvin. Um, Miguel Quintanilla Tejada. Pre present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Um, Hello, Morena Fuentes. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Morena. Welcome. Oscar. Oscar. Present. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Raquel. She's absent. Um, Santiago. Chaps. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Santiago. And Vilma. Cartagena. Vilma. Thank you, Vilma. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome. Good evening, Thanks. teacher. Go, oh, Jose. That's I'm here. It. It's nice to have you again. How are you today, Jose? I'm very good, teacher. A little bit tired, but I'm okay. Still alive, right? Which is amazing. That's wonderful. Yes. In this country, that's pretty much teacher. tough. Excuse me? Good evening, teacher. Laura Arce present. Oh, Laura, let me check that really quick. Give me a minute. Thank you. It's nice to have you again. Welcome. Thank okay. you, teacher. Thank you so much. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Give me a minute. Perfect. Okay. Um, we're going to watch a video just for you to remember how this content. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to get into more practice on this. Um, things about uh, back to the future. I think I have the audio. Let me check. Yes, I have the audio. We're going to have this thing about perspective. Take the good with the bad. Okay, oh, this is a good thing. Take the good with the bad, okay? So we're gonna have this thing. You will listen the auctions, right? Uh, you need to write like a sequence of these things uh, of getting a high paying job, okay? So, and you need to check what the statements that you agree with, okay? So let's try to do it. Let's listen. If you don't hear or if you don't see very well the picture, let me know so I can send the picture to this group uh, on WhatsApp so, so I can like, so you can have it clear. Okay, so I will play the out. If you don't see the picture very well, uh, let me know. The picture now is clear. No. Don't see the picture. No problem. Give me a minute. If I can take the picture, so then I can send it to you. Okay. Somebody did it already. No, <laughs> nobody did it. Somebody was sending messages in the chat. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. I'm having an Alcatel here. Okay. So. 
Well, I apologize on that. There you have the picture in the chat on, um, on WhatsApp, so you can check that anytime. Um, yes, it's and, perfect. Perfect. Okay, I will play the audio so you can uh, do this exercise. Let's listen. Page 61, Exercise 8, Perspectives. Take the good with the bad. Part A. Listen to some possible consequences of getting a high-paying job. Check the statements you agree with. If you get a high-paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. You'll be able to buy anything you want. You'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You may get your own office. You won't have as much stress in your life. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. One more try. Page 61, Exercise 8. Perspectives. Take the good with the bad. Part A. Listen to some possible consequences of getting a high-paying job. Check the statements you agree with. If you get a high-paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. You'll be able to buy anything you want. You'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You may get your own office. You won't have as much stress in your life. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. So here we have a list of like things that maybe you can have if you get a high paying job. Okay? Can you like mention what are the things that you agree with this? Teacher, excuse me. I I think I'm a little disagree with two points, at least uh, in our country. <laughs> Please go ahead. Uh, it is, uh, The, the last one, you'll have a lot, a lot more free time. Sometimes if we, <laughs> if we get high paying, it, it is because we, we don't have many free time, much, much free time. And, and the other. Oh, just, you see that why, why we don't have like more free time. We don't have more free time. Yeah, tell me why. Uh, for example, uh, because there, 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 there are less works like like that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is, it is, it is very good. However, you need to give me like details about why you disagree with that. You know what I mean. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't have idea what kind of of job could be high paying, and and we have more free time. <laughs> well, yeah, that is that is that is correct. But why do you think like if I get like a high paying job, why I won't be able to have like more free time? What is the reason of that? What is the reason? Of, of not having more free time. Uh, I think uh, in 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 the major cases, but but I don't know if I wrong. <laughs> I mean, no, you're absolutely correct, absolutely correct. However, however, it's like you need to give me like more details, you know, about 
why like I won't have a lot of more free time if I get that a, a high paying job. It's like is that because you in, know in in general be, because uh, uh, high paying is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes yes i was i mean i understand that but you need to give me like the reasons why <laughs> i'm sorry teacher i i don't know i don't know i mean maybe because I got, I got different duties or maybe i have to work overtime or maybe because i have to work on the weekends or maybe because i, I have to make a lot of reports you know what i mean like at the company the, the, uh, the 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 peop the people with with high pay i think they they have to to have the no, their job to have their job in 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 their mind all the time that's true that's absolutely true yeah very good but you know Yes, uh, the other the other point, for example, uh, you won't have as much stress in your life. <laughs> but um, another time, I don't know if if I won with that. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. You're it could be right. in 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 some case. I think it could be possible. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. I, I, I totally agree with you with those two points that you mentioned because it's like um like the more i mean money we get in a in a job it's like more responsibilities or duties we have right and a stress is, is something really heavy nowadays you know what i mean and yes. if, if you like for example a supervisor let's say or like a, a boss in a company nowadays nowadays Everything is with computers, right? Computers, reports, um, yes. meetings, um, balances, and, and stuff like that. So it's pretty much heavy, as you mentioned. And, and I totally agree with you on those yes. things. Um, it's like, it's, it's a balance, right? <laughs> Maybe you, you got a, a nice position, like they don't pay you too much, yes. but it's like, it's good enough for you. <laughs> yes, everyone, everyone, everyone who have to, have to search, have to find uh, the balance in in their life. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Money helps a lot, but uh, you help you help that thing that's better. I mean, that's okay. That's sure, thank you. Perfect, wonderful. Somebody else wants to participate in this one. Mm -hmm. Anna Cecilia, thank you, Anna Cecilia. Please. Hi, teacher. Hi. Can you tell me? Like, uh, I think I feel, I think you might have to pay him your taxes. Oh, okay. Very good. You may have to pay higher tax. That is absolutely right. I hate that. I hate that. Yes. Do you hate that? <laughs> yes. It doesn't really like that, right? It's like. Just gotta pay them. Okay, something else that you want to mention here? Um, uh, maybe you you'll have more cash to spend. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Like an extra money, right? That you want to to, to have so you can spend like on, on things maybe or on food. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. okay. Let me select some random people here. Um, Santiago. Thank you so much, Santiago. Are you there, please? Hello, teacher. Well, if you get a higher paying job. Exactly. Well, the first one, you won't have so much stress in your life. The better for me. <laughs> I don't why I don't want stress in my life, teacher. I don't need that. It's not healthy at all, right? 
No, ya no, teacher. What about something else? Something else. Ah, ok. Sería... Uh, you you don't have a lot of more free time too. Oh, that's absolutely right. So you like you your things are related with with like these ones that Jose selected, right? Yes, it's better option too. Yeah. What, what do you think about getting like a high paying job? Is, is that a good thing? Um, not really. Um. Well, here in El Salvador, not really, right? Uh really. Es, uh, es poquito. <laughs> este, or maybe, or maybe companies, they give you different if you, if If you, you live in the United States, wow, yeah. But here, teacher, not really. Oh, yeah. If you live in the U.S., that paid off. That paid off. You know what I mean? Like, yes. But here, they give you more duties, and they still pay you the same thing, right? <laughs> No, it's a big difference. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. You're welcome. People. You're welcome. We will continue with the next one, uh, with next uh, exercise. Page 61. Uh, which is this one. We will have a short video just for you to remember the grammar part. And, and then we will carry on with more things. If you don't see the video very well, uh, let me know. Okay? Please. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, we're gonna work with conditionals. Conditionals are like, just to indicate something that probably will happen, we don't know, but it's just- Hi. Then, okay, espérame, 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 no, 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 oh, give me a break, oh, I don't have it, okay. Hi, we're about to study con conditional sentences. Okay, let me see, no sé si ven esta parte de aquí, do you see this grammar thing? Very well, I'm sorry for your eyes if you don't see it. Do you see it like very clear, nice and clear? Yes. Oh. Yes, I see. Yes, it is okay. clear. Wonderful. Oh, this thing is, is very easy. Okay, it's very easy. This is the first one. We have three conditionals in English, right? Uh, we will see this the one. This is the first one in this module, um, and which is about uh, with future, and we have some models like might and may. Okay. Um, we start with let's say 
two clauses, call them clauses because we have two sentences, two idea that at the end goes together and just to form one point. You know what I mean? Um, and in this one, we're gonna have if at the beginning, then a comma in the middle, and then we have another sentence. Maybe in that sentence, in the second sentence, we can use want, we can use a, a model like might or may. Okay, or if you want, we can switch. We can write um, the conse con conse consequence first, and then we can have the possible situation. Okay, if we switch, we have if in the middle. We don't need we don't need a comma in that one. Okay, um, it's like the only thing you need to figure it out is like this one goes with simple present, and the other one goes with future or a modal person. okay so the first conditional we use the present simple do you remember present simple like everything we do right daily routines um i don't know uh, weekly activities um things that we do regularly right and that is present simple or general truth um that is simple present so that's why in the if class you have if you get if you don't if you have okay and then in the other one in the consequence um you can have will or you can have the models cecilia yes teacher one question mm -hmm. uh, con respecto the clause the clause if el significado Es, sí. Exacto. Pero en ningún momento podemos sustituirlo por yes. No, en ningún momento. Ajá, porque es el mismo significado. Exacto. Lo único que es el contexto. Ah, right. okay. Es como consecuencia, right? Sí, si, like if, si usted hace esto, probablemente le pase esto. ¿Vale? Right? No es como un yes de affirmation, like. Do you like this? Yes, I do, right? No es un yes como ese, sino que es un yes para consecuencia, right? Es una amenaza. <laughs> justo, justo eso iba a decir, porque no, no es el mismo significado. Ah. Ok, una, teacher, thank you. Una vez, that's, no, no, it's, it's, like, it's like a consequence, you know what I mean? Like a possible situation, like an scenario you are creating or imagine, right? That that will happen, right? So that is the context. Entonces, uh, when you like, you need to work with the context. Cuando lo traduzca, work with the context. Okay. Yeah. Very good. That was a nice question. Uh, do you have another question at home? Antes that we begin with the exercises, with the practice. Uh, this is again. This is is quite simple. However, you need to be sure that the if clause. You need to write the present simple. And with the consequence, you need to write, yeah, means future, or you can use a model like made or might. Okay. Uh, one clause like relates with the other one, right? If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. <laughs> that is absolutely untrue, as you may know, right? Because if you get a pay, high paying job, as, as I was talking with, with your classmates, is the opposite. You need to work harder, harder, right? That's that's the way. And then in the second one, if you don't have to work as hard, then we have like a consequence, right? Maybe we, we that will happen or maybe that won't happen. Like, we don't know. Right? It's like a possible thing that will happen, right? If you have a lot of more free time, you might get bored, right? That, that's, it's a possibility. Right. Uh, probably that will happen, but we don't know. Yep. So um, that's that's this this grammar context on this one. Uh, we're gonna have this exercise where we have to choose choose the correct responses. We have like a question, right? And then we have like possible. So we are going to work with the options that we have available. We have two options in here. You have a question and letter A, and then in here you have some options, right? Two options. So you need to select or what is the correct one according to the context. Yep. 
Hmm? Uh, participation. If you want to participate, raise your hand. If not, it's going to be random people. Okay. Um. I don't know. If, do you see very well the material? If you don't see it, let me know, so I can send it. This it is, it is clear. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So read carefully the statement, like the question, like what if I get in shape this summer? And then we have the possible two options, right? You might be able to come rock <laughs> to come rock climbing with me, or you won't be able to come rock climbing with me. So read carefully the question and then read carefully the two options that you have available. One of those goes with the question. Right. Excuse me, teacher. What what mean rock climbing? Oh, uh, look at the picture. Look at the picture, Jaime. Look at the picture here. That is the meaning of that. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, okay. Aleli, please. Number one. Um, what if I get in shape this summer? Um, you might be able to come rock Kimball with me. Climbing. Very good. Climbing. Climbing, very good. Climbing. Yeah, that is correct. This is correct. Okay. That's that's right. That's correct. Uh, Karen, Cesenia, okay. you're next. Uh, what will happen if I stop exercise? Well, um, you might gain weight. Exactly. Exercising, right? Very good. That is correct. Thank you so much. Very good, Karen. Um, somebody else? Thank you. Somebody else? We have number three and number four. Oh, Laura. Thank you, Laura. What if I get a better job? Um, you'll be able to buy some new clothes. You'll, you'll be able to buy some new, very good, perfect. Close, close, close. Thank you so much. Somebody else with number four, please. Thank you, Emerson. Go ahead. Number four, brother. Yes. What will happen if I don't get a summer job? Uh, you probably won't have enough money for your school expense. Thank you. We have enough, enough expenses. Enough, enough. enough money for your school expense. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. Yep. So this is the way we do it, right? And this is the way we do it. We work with the context. Uh, again, we can use like um, a future things. Yep. We can use models, right? Um, with the, uh, with the uh, class. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, sorry. Okay, let's take a look on this one. In this exercise, you gotta do two things, right? The first one is, which words go with the verbs? You need to complete the, the chart. Here you have some vocabulary, and here you have some verbs. So you need to like arrange this vocabulary according to the verb. Yep. So read the vocabulary, and then you write it according to the verb. After that, as you finish, you need to write sentences with if, right? And with the vocabulary that is in exercise A, like the example, if I feel energetic, I might go for a walk. Yep. So first of all, you need to like order this vocabulary according with, to the verb. And then based on this information, you need to make sentences using if. Don't forget with the if clause, you need to use simple present. And then with the other one, you can use future or modal verbs, like might or may. Um, Bridget, do you understand? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Oscar, do you understand, Oscar? Uh, 
Hello, Oscar. Do you understand the exercise? If, if somebody, if somebody does not understand, let me know. Yeah. Yeah. If you do not understand, let me know. So I can explain to you this thing again. Everything is clear? Excuse me, teacher. ¿Cuál es la última palabra? Eh, es que hay un cuadro que tapa la última palabra. Ah, oh. white. Thank you. Es que esta cosa, when, I, when I'm like, tengo una ventanita como que lo cierra todo. I don't know why. I don't know why. Sorry. Uh, when you finish, if you want to participate first, just raise your hand and let me know.
don't forget that in this one you need to write like um simple present and then you can have something with future or with also a modal verb we're working with two modal verbs in this one you can use uh, might or you can use may Excuse, excuse me, teacher. Uh, what, what do, what does it mean? Wait. Oh, it's it's about like, um, it's about your your body. You know. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's like, for example, when you have like a diet or when you do exercise, when you usually lose weight. Um, Santiago, thank you so much. Uh, teacher, este, cuando dice feel, I, for example, relaxes. Yeah, I feel, that's a good one. Yep, relax. For, for example, if you if you feel relaxes, you will be better health. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Just pronunciation is or, relaxed, relaxed. Uh, or, or you'll have better health. Health. You will have health. a better health. Mm -hmm. You will have better health. Exactly. Very hell. That is correct. Yeah, that is correct. Very okay. good. Mm -hmm. That's the way. That's the way you will do the rest of this one. Yep. Perfect. Oh, marriage. Here we have marriage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Marriage. I didn't. I didn't notice that. It's dangerous. <laughs> Stay away. The lows of burial. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Ramon teaching, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you stay away from that if you want to be happy. <laughs> oh, Cecilia, thank you so much. Me corrige por mi teacher, si me equivoco. Is, is a loss um, wet by exercise is correct okay if i lose if i if i lose weight by exercise hmm. i mean i mean the beginning is is, is is correct if i lose weight that is correct okay however however the consequence the consequence tiene que cambiarlo you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes. You need to change it. Okay? You need to change it. Something related to that. Something to relate to that. Like, if I lose weight, you need to give me something with future or with a modal verb. Okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, the first one is correct, but the second one is, is incorrect. Okay? The consequence is incorrect. Try to do it with, with, with something that will happen, like with will or maybe with might or may. Yep. And then tell me one more time so I can check that. Morena, thank you. Okay, teacher. If the weather is freezing, could you give me a call? If I have okay, okay. morning. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. One more time. If the weather is freezing, freezing, very could good. Could could you give me a call? Mm. No. Okay. Okay. I mean, the first one is correct. If if the weather is freezing, okay. Could you give me a call? Oh, and this one, because because in that one you need to use a call. It's like get right. Yeah, uh -huh. so the okay. verb get needs to be there. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, you need yeah. you need to fix the second one. Fix the second one. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I have money, I can buy a new dress. I can buy. I can buy a new dress. Is correct. Yeah, that is correct. Very good. Okay. If I have free time. I will have relaxed. 
If okay. I have free time, I will have relaxer. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Maybe you no. can say, I will be, I will be re relaxed. Okay. Mm, or I will feel, I will feel. I will, feel I will relaxed. be relaxed. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can use feel yeah. or, or be if you want to. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. If I eat healthy, I can lose weight. Lose, lose. Lose. If I eat healthy, I can lose weight. Exactly, but but it's, uh, uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's better if you use will, might, or may. Ah, no, okay. no, no can because can is like it's more like specific mm -hmm. about it. Okay, so you mm -hmm. can use mm -hmm. might because sometimes that happens and sometimes it, it doesn't happen, right? Yeah, uh -huh. okay, like Dr. Fauci. Do you know who's Dr. Fauci? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Yep, yeah. um, somebody else. Karen, thank you, Karen. Voy a intentarlo. <laughs> um, if if I get more weight, the the clothes will not fit me. Clothes, very good. Uh, that, that is correct. Very good. Just the pronunciation, clothes, but the rest. Clothes. Clothes, mm -hmm. the, the clothes will not fit me. Exactly. Okay. Uh, if I get a cold, I will have to take medicine. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, the way you did those two, you can carry on with the rest of the, of, of the examples. Okay, got it. Oh, very good. Um, Laura, thank you, Laura. Okay, teacher. If I quit working, I might, I may need money. Wonderful. Very good. If I get married, I'll do it for life. Okay. Can you read the second one one more time? Okay. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> if I get married, I'll do it for life. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute of you. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Carry on. Carry on. Oh, continue, please. Carry on. Laura? Laura? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ca carry on with the rest of the example. You need to have in total five. Okay. Um, or, or, or you need to work on that? Yes, teacher. Oh, sorry. Carry on. Keep working on that. Thank you. Elvis? Okay. I say two sentences. Uh, if I get married, I will have a child. It's straight to the point, right? Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Um, if I lose weight, I might look better. Oh, that's also true. That's also true, right? Very good. Yeah, the two of those of those two sentences are great, fantastic, great job. Just do the the like number four and number five, quite the same. Morena. Okay, yo ya. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you, how many sentences have you finished? Uh five. Oh, okay. Thank you. Did okay. you fix did you fix the, the mistakes on those on, on, on your sentences? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Marina. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? So this is the way we do it, right? This is the way we do it, right? You just have two clauses. That means two sentences. Okay. Yeah. One is with if when we have simple present. Yeah. And the other one is about like a consequence, something that might or will happen, right? You just need to work with the context. The first one needs to be related to the second one, and the second one needs to be related to the first one, right? So that makes sense at the end, at the same, you work with the same point on this one. Yep. Uh, if you have a question at home about this uh, grammar thing, let me know. Okay, this is 
um, somehow difficult sometimes, okay? Because we need to play with the different, like the structure that we have available. Simple present is not a piece of cake because sometimes we forget the grammar structure of simple present, right? Right now, I'm, we're just working with if I, okay? But what about when we switch to Carlos? If Carlos, what is next? What about if Marvin, what is next? You know what I mean? In that part, that's the challenge. When we when we use, um, um, let's say, he, she, or it in the in the simple present tense, because sometimes we forget of the grammar structure of, of these ones. Okay, uh, let me see. I think I have another exercise. Let me double check that um, before I take the attendance, because I think I have another one. No, that's the other. That's the, the only one I have. Okay, uh, the next one is for, the, <laughs> is for tomorrow. Let me take the attendance really quick. Um, one more time. I'm sorry, but I have to take it. Okay, I have to take it. Um, Ale Lee, you're here, right, Ale Lee? I am here. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez. I am here, teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Cecilia Romero de Dominguez. Present, teacher. Um, <laughs> Ana Yadira Mendoza Godoy. I'm here, teacher. Bridget, are you still I'm here, here teacher? Wonderful. Here. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Carmen, are you here? No. Uh, Cesar, you told me that he's sick, right? Uh, unfortunately. Edith Guzman. I hear teacher. Thank you so much. Eduardo. I hear teacher. Perfect. Elvis. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Emerson. Present. Wonderful. Stephanie. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Fatima. Present teacher. Um, Jaime. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Jose. Present, teacher. Um, Karen. Present. Um, <coughs> Laura Arce. Present, teacher. Marvin. Marcel. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Miguel Quintanilla. Morena Guadalupe Fuentes de Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Raquel. Well, she, she, she's not here. Uh, Santiago. Here, teacher. Thank you, uh, Vilma. Present. You. Okay, we still have like four minutes left. Um, let me see. Jaime, give me a number from one to five, please. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Give me a number from one to five. Oh, well, yes. I... No, you, you just, just say, say a number from one to five. Uh, if I get exercise, if I get exercising, oh, I might. Oh, no, I mean, give me a number. Give me a number from one uh, to number, five. Number four. Number four. Okay. Eduardo, Santiago, Ana Cecilia, and Bridges. Okay, Bridges. Okay. I have the the club here, you see? Yes? Yes. Le voy a dar, le voy a dar un minuto so you can speak using simple present. Un minuto y usted me dice todo lo que pueda usando simple present. Yes? Yes. Okay, ready? Yes, ready. Let's begin. If I have cooking, a little of everything, if I... Um, If I get money. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bridget. I'm sorry. Okay. I will give you, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Okay. Okay. Maybe you got confused. Uh, I would work with you, Santiago. Okay. Santiago, one more time. I will give you one minute so you can talk about everything you want using simple present tense. Do you understand? Everything. I mean, everything you want. Just one Whatever. minute. Exactly. One minute. This is your time. Ready? Okay. Ready? Ready, set, go. Go. Well, I'm Santiago Chavez. I'm studying English right now. 
you uh, um i'll be waiting to finish this class <laughs> i need some rest in this moment and my partner are listen to me and my teacher too really uh, i don't want i i don't know what to say more but i try to <laughs> to continue speaking with you <laughs> Well, I don't know if my my English is good, but I will try to I, I try to better every day. Uh, someday uh, I will be better in my English. <laughs> I don't know what you say. Um thanks. Thank you so thanks much. For, okay. Thank you so much. That was very good. Okay. Um yeah um well done um out of those out of those 60 seconds that you got uh you you were like spoken in english like half of that you know the other half you were like saying like i don't know and random things you know what i mean um yeah, just in that your english is, is quite good okay you have a few mistakes but your english is quite good okay so um with this time that we have available, you gotta be specific and go straight. You need to be like ready, you know what I mean? Um, so when I gave you the time, I am expecting for you to use the tense. Yes, uh, try to remember everything about simple present. Also, mañana vamos a practicar el simple past, que es heavy, okay? So we are selecting our random people, so you can have one minute to talk about past things. You know what I mean? Past events, whatever you want, Y tenemos el future, que something else is, is, is quite good as well. I will give you another minute so you can speak about future, okay? And the way Santiago did it, that's wonderful. Yeah, very good. But, <laughs> Hasta sudando estoy, <laughs> but, but eh, you need to be ready. You know what I mean? Si les digo, hábleme del future, díganme todo lo que sabe del future. Right? Invent something, pretend, you know? Y si les digo acerca del past, Invent something, right? Solo utilice el past tense. Yeah, negative, affirmative, or question, whatever you want. But you need to be like using the language as much as possible. Laura? Teacher, pero será como, como eh, de, decir vivencias de pasado, o lo que yo sé, el pasado es tal cosa, tal cosa. Uh, no, o... vivencias, así como. Ah, ya, ya, ya. ya. Hizo okay. yesterday, right? Dígame okay. qué hizo yesterday, or last week. Oh, okay. it's time, Rick. Uh, um, Anneli, it's time to go. <laughs> go to bed. Thank you so much for being here. Practice your English. Take care. One question, teacher. Cecilia? Uh, con respect al present y al future, sería, present y future sería usando el if? No. So, no, no, it's normal. It's just, one, it's just one minute talking about past, one minute talking about future, one minute talking about present. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, teachers. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye, guys.